I am not an expert in Vegas Pro, but I will show you how I use track motion. There may be a better way of doing it, but this is the way that works for me. First of all, I will determine where I want to track. And so I have a video here in the video track and I'm going to move until I find where I want to start tracking. And this is a subject here. I'm going to pretend that I am want to point out head movement and foot movement during a jog. So I would like an arrow pointing towards the head and an arrow toward, pointing towards the feet. This is where I want the tracking to begin. So I'll press the letter S to split right there and then the letter M to make a mark. Then I'll move forward until I find the end of the area I want to stop tracking. And that's the end right there. So I'll, again, I'll press the letter S for split and the letter M for mark. And then I'll press the enter key because I don't have anything really to type in there in the marking area. Now the purpose of putting marks one and two, one is the beginning, is I can just press the number one and quickly move there or press the number two to go to the end to jump back and forth. So I find that makes it easy when I have a, a split section uh, to work just within that section. And I am now in the beginning and now I'm ready to start track motion. I make sure that the um, clip that I want to use is selected. Go to the beginning and press Alt M as in motion, the letter M as in motion. I'll create a region and right now we'll set to accurate and perspective. So let's see how that works. There is my target region. I'll move forward one frame to see if it follows it. Well, it, as you can see, it does not follow. So I will delete that. Go to the beginning. And now you can see how handy it is to have the markers in there. This time I'll try um, create a region. I'll try location and see how well it follows the body. Move forward one frame. Not good at all. So let's cancel that region. Go to the beginning. And try something else. This time, now let's keep it on location because I don't need perspective because this is flat. If this was a, a sign of something at an angle, then I'd use perspective. We know that it will not follow the whole body. So let's make the region smaller. Something that's easier to distinguish. And put it right over the head. You see, that has less things to look at, so to speak. Now let's go one frame. I think we have a winner. Okay, since it's doing very well, I'll go ahead and say, finish this to the end, track forward. And there's the end, and it's still there, but let's just make sure. There you go. It's following her perfectly. Now it's time to place an arrow pointing towards the head and associate it with the track motion area or region as they call it. See the word region right here? That's region three. That's called a region. So I want the arrow to be over 
this area right here. I've already added a track. So I'll go into, it, it, there's the arrow right there. We'll drag and drop that where it begins. Extend it out to the number two marker. And obviously you can't use the arrow like that. So we'll go into video FX, picture and a picture. Drag and drop that in here. Now we have something that we can control. I'll go ahead and get the arrow, the cursor in the beginning position. Let's size this down. Make it um, a point like that. After I have that where I want it, then I can close this and then go back to my motion tracking and this says drag this icon to the event you want to associate with this region. So we'll click that little guy and put it in there. And now if you don't click this right here it won't lock in. You've got to click that and that locks it in. So let's see what we got here. That looks okay to me. Now it is time to insert the second arrow pointing towards the feet. So I will insert a video track. Bring in the arrow to use for the feet. Size it to match the track length. Change it to a picture and a picture. Make it smaller. Bring this to the beginning of the clip. Place the arrow where I want it to be. I think I'll have it facing more like that. And that's pointing at the feet. Then I'll close the video event FX. And there's my track motion. I'm still using region three. I want to make sure it's still set to accurate and location. I want to grab the motion track transfer. It says drag this icon to the track you want to lock in. Click there. Look at that. Now you may be wondering why this is still there. That's because this is still active. When I close this, that goes away. And then you'll be able to see it exactly the way it will look from beginning to end. Now let's make this a little bit smoother here by having these both fade in at the same time. About uh, 30, uh, a one second fade in. And let's go with a one second fade out. Let's see how that looks.